Greetings Spartan and welcome back to the UNSC Infinity War Game Simulation Training Program. Today Spartan we will be looking at one of the most unusual Covenant weapons, the Needler. The Type 33 Guided Munitions Launcher is a Covenant anti-infantry weapon currently manufactured by Lodam Armory. It fires razor-sharp crystalline projectiles that will home in on hostile threats using methods that we may never fully understand since the Needler itself is impossible to reverse engineer, but it is believed to be related to the identification and tracking capabilities of the Type 25 Plasma Pistol. However, many soldiers have noticed that the Needles will only home in on you when they can see you, leading many to believe that the identification and guidance systems lie within the weapon, not the crystals. Either way, the Needles will only home in on hostile targets and only while under line of sight with the weapon. Upon impact, the Needles will embed themselves in flesh and then proceed to violently detonate after a few short moments. A single Needle is enough to severely wound or kill standard infantry. The Needles can strike internal organs, cause massive internal bleeding, and the detonations have been known to amputate entire limbs. The Needler is a frightening weapon, and any Covenant wielding it becomes a priority target. The Type 33 Needler is fully automatic and fires crystalline projectiles at a rate of 660 rounds per minute from a 22 round magazine that can be reloaded in 1.5 seconds. The Needles travel at a rate of 33 meters per second and will become harmless after traveling approximately 75 meters. The Needles themselves do very little damage to a Spartan. They will only finish off already weakened opponents. But if seven Needles become lodged in the same target, they will react with each other violently, causing a chain reaction that we have come to call a Super Combine. This explosion is more powerful than a grenade and it begins inside your body. The Super Combine will immediately kill a Spartan, and two Super Combines will kill a Spartan with overshields. And while the Needler will receive the effects of the Damage Boost power-up, it will not change the overall damage profile. You will still need one Combine to kill a Spartan, and two to kill a Spartan with Overshields. The most important fact about the Needler is that it is best used at short to mid-range. If your target is too far away, your Needles won't reach them. And if your target is too close, the Needles will have a hard time homing in and your opponent will be able to easily dodge them. In fact, one of the best ways to counter a Needler is to get close and side strafe. So if your opponent is moving towards you, back away and keep your reticle on them to ensure that your Needles make contact. You also need to remember that the Needles will only track targets that are in your crosshair, so if you break line of sight, the Needles will continue on their current trajectory until you identify another target. The maximum distance that the Needler can mark a target is 40 meters, and you'll know they're in range when the crosshair on your heads-up display turns red. And while this will sometimes work against you, it can be used to your advantage. If you notice an enemy is approaching on your motion sensor, you can fire the needles prematurely, and when your opponent rounds the corner, simply target them and the needles will veer towards them. If you do this properly, most enemies won't even know what hit them. Getting a feel for how many needles it takes to get a super combine is important. Under the right circumstances, you will be able to fire the proper amount of needles and then direct your attention elsewhere while your victim explodes. This is the very definition of fire and forget, but it doesn't always work out in your favor, and you may just leave your victim alive to continue the fight. Another problem with the Needler is that because the projectiles are so slow, there will be times when you will die before your opponent super combines. This happens very often in the simulator, and you shouldn't be surprised when it happens to you. But, if you use cover appropriately, you should be able to minimize these situations. The Type 33 Needler is a weapon best used in a semi-defensive manner. While offensive flanks can be effective, it is most reliable when your opponent is running into your shots. It is a very powerful and very reliable weapon, but does lack a small amount of consistency and can be avoided by smart opponents. But, once you become accustomed to the projectile speed and tracking capabilities, you can teach your enemies to fear the Pink Cloud of Death. Thank you for watching this episode of my Halo 4 Weapon Guides. If you enjoyed it, please have a look at my other videos and be sure to stay tuned for more to come. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt and I'll see you next time.